when the good people of Route YC got in touch and said, hey, Hazy, do you fancy exploring the North Yorkshire coast and making a video about it to promote this website that also promotes the Yorkshire coast? I said, eh? Then they explained it a little bit to me and I was like, do you know what, mate? That sounds like a great idea. I'd be more than happy to. So I got on the hotline and contacted one of my bezzy mates, Joey Von D. And I said, Joe, do you fancy exploring the North Yorkshire coast using the website Route YC? He said, what? I explained it to him a little bit and he's like, yes, mate, that sounds absolutely mint. Then we were tasked with which section we should use. It was a no brainer, really. We were both born and raised in Whitby. So to explore Whitby and the, and the immediate surrounding area was like a dream come true. And it helped us reconnect with the place that we grew up in. We found some places that we never even knew existed. And all in all, just had a mint laugh. This isn't like a normal camping video that we would do, but it's something a little bit different. And we really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoy watching it. Let's go. So we're gonna try and get some, I'll do some little interviews and just see who we meet on the way around the town or in the countryside or whatever find out what other people think of Whitby uh, <laughs> the bloke there in fact should we go find out what he wants excuse me mate oh <laughs> 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 down it didn't work oh it fell down camera fell <laughs> hold on hold on sorry camera fell down <laughs> 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 that didn't work. I was going to say, pretend to be a random and I'll come and interview you. But we're here with Joey D as well, so we'll be looking around, searching our hometown and seeing what adventures we can come up with. Stay tuned. Well, that's good to see, isn't it? The different before and after. <laughs> this is about 100 years old, so all this build up is 100 years. Yeah, over, just over 100 years. That's like your year. lungs. Yeah, so the, this one's just over 100 years old, but then this year the business is 150 years old. Have you got a name, Bark or something like that? What do they call you it? Just call it Tap. Tap? Yeah. And there you go, Fortune Skipper House, check it out. Here we have some of, we have some of the. Uh, Star studied people off James Martin. We've got we've got two fat ladies and two fat ladies again, and then soon me move over, me in there. Hello. <laughs> That's the sort of bants we need now, mate. You all right? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yeah, not wild camping with her. Oh, he knows. <laughs> he knows. Yeah. Now I'll tusk. There he is, look. Just like that. It's that easy. Over the two sets. 
Have you met me? Yorkshire Cowboy. Not mate. I'm Yorkshire Cowboy. Your, Yorkshire Cowboy? I'm Yorkshire Wizard. How's it going? <laughs> All right, yeah. yeah sure. I thought you have to a picture. <laughs> you can get a bit you, of well, You're welcome a picture. Yeah? What's your story? Why are you dressed like a cowboy? Um, happened four years ago, uh, I was walking around Sutton Bank from near Thurst. Oh, no, Sutton Bank, yeah. Yeah, a little, um, little boy walking with his dad. Got me picture taken and uh, I'll start you from that. What, because you were dressed like this? Uh, I had I, 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 the Australian hat on at the time and I had a waistcoat on, normal shows at the time, and little boy was uh, walking with his dad, got picture taken, and I just struck off from that. <laughs> and then it snowballed into into what we've got here, look. Yeah, yeah, I have proper boots, I have big boats as well, oh, they're yeah. running ankle ones. Like leather, leather pants as well, mate, that. Yeah. You bet you're struggling on a day like today, aren't you? With no, sweaty I'm legs. No, I'm actually comfortable. Comfortable? You made it here first. <laughs> right, that's really cool, mate. Yeah, I'm in mean, with steampunk and goths now. I joined them even. Have <laughs> you? Right, you really going yeah. for it? Oh, yeah, I, I like really it. go for it. I have even outfits to join them even. Right? Yeah, you dress up as a steampunk? And uh, no, I, I just can't be, I dress up in black. Nice. I, put, I do my own. Right. I don't bother with other baits, I just do my own. Yeah. You should like make hybrid, like half cowboy, half. Like goth, like uh, a gothic cowboy. I actually, I actually one day I'd come in, I'd my black, black and white tassel top I had on, and uh, snakeskin boots. <laughs> I like that sound of that, mate. That sounds good. Uh, I always wear them when I come in, and everyone's favourite is that outfit. Put my black hat on instead of black stetson on instead of white one. Nice, mate. What are you doing here? Just getting some more clobber, or are you getting your hair cut? I've just had my hair done. Nice, and then yeah. that straight on. Yeah, yeah, I'm part of, I'm, I'm part of Whitby as well. I'm in nice most. One. And what's your name? Just right. it. And we're cool to put you on the on the film if it, when it comes out the video. That much obliged. Yeah, what's your name again? Brian. Brian and Paul, nice to meet Thank you, man. Thank you, Paul. Nice one. I thought I, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I am camera shy. So no, it's happy I'm days. Not. And have you got any social media? Are you on anything? You're promoting anything that you want to s shout out? Um, yeah, to everyone in Whitby yeah. and hoping everyone has a good summer this yeah. summer. Is that a good way of putting it? Yeah, that's it? perfect, mate! Nice one. Uh, I have to get up, I don't have to buy you a drink. I can't not buy you a drink. Well, you don't have to, mate. I don't have to, mate. Um, I, it's appreciated, don't we? Lambic, yeah, means it's basically open wild yeast, open fermentation. So whatever yeast is in the atmosphere, is basically what brew, they use to brew the beer. So they all have each of the sort of like local wild brews have different flavours. Really sort of complex, mm. sour. Now now they've now they've commercialised the sour yeast. So you, you, know, you buy a sour now, it's not a lambic, it's not the same thing. Different. It's like that's a different that's a yeast that gives that sort of sour flavour. This is specific to a particular area. You cannot get that flavour anywhere else. Shalonte. There we are, look. Just the right size. What's your name? Lee. This is my new mate, Lee. And, Lee and, Cheryl. and my new mate, Cheryl, as well. Shout out Lee and Cheryl. You sound like you should own like a beer beer somewhere, do you? Well, no. <laughs> no. Right, cool. See you later. So here we are in the green dragon. Um, we've, we've made some friends in there and now we're just going to choose a beverage from the wall of beverages or the many walls of beverages what's the deal with when you get cans you just, can just take them in there and drink them yeah just show him them and show write it down and he'll add it to the list then we can just do what we want Yeah. Well, that's awesome isn't it we're living the dream we're living the dream, and I show you these apparently. I do, yeah. I'll add them onto your tab for it. And you just know, happy days, the shin digger. You get a fresh glass. That's the sort of service you can't grumble at. Cheers, mate. Always fresh glass every drink. There you go, fresh glass every drink. It's the same thing with all parts of life. Treat people how you want to be treated yourself. Absolutely. Enjoy, guys. There you go. Nice. You've always been a curry sauce fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. Looks good. Really good. 
the fish box recommended. Pretty much jumped out of that sea, I think, and landed yeah. in the fryer. Yeah, and what better place to enjoy fish and chips than looking out to sea? There we are in the Bay Hotel. And for anyone that watched my coast to coast, you'll know that I finished in Whitby. But here I am at the finishing spot doing in a pint of Wainwright. Cheers. After oiling our joints in the Green Dragon, we oiled the chains of our bikes and set off to Robin Hood's Bay on the cinder tracks. We enjoyed some fish and chips while looking out to sea and then had a stroll down into Robin Hood's Bay and a swift pint of Wainwright in the Bay Hotel. We then jumped back on our trusty steeds and headed down the cinder tracks towards a beautiful sunset and back to our camping pods at Broomfields, which was the perfect base for us to explore Whitby in the surrounding area. Links for Broomfields can be found on the Route YC website below. We spent the evening recording a podcast, drinking a little bit of red wine, and just chattering into the night. Those of you that are watching and listening, look at this. We're in, we're sat out the front of a pod. Unfamiliar territory. Very unfamiliar territory. Joe's a little bit nervous. It's a pod. I've not slept inside a contained unit with um, Hayes Outdoors for a, I'm a little bit worried about what might happen. We did in Scotland. Normally we have our own separate sort of... What about in Sc Yeah, so, so stuff might happen tonight, which we, everyone's looking forward to. We were up early in the morning and back out onto the Route YC to check out more of what Whitby and the surrounding area had to offer. trying to do some fancy sh flying and we heard this horrific noise and now the drone is stuck up in this tree no i'm not having much luck with drones of late i just got it back on road or back in air and now look absolutely clattered the blades and now it's up in tree we're not getting that back mate you need like a circus net or something to you know like shake it it's a long fall it's like a big drop that way. so it's on the edge of that limb there right up there and there's no way that branch is going to take that i wouldn't want anyone walking on that i need a here joe i'm holding on to <laughs> there he is look at the drones just flashing to as if to say help me here yeah. hey up hey up yes man you look after yourself getting down kid and we've done it Joey D's climbed up, we've used the tripod at full extension to tap it and then I've got my hoodie underneath it and caught it in hoodie. <laughs> we'll see if it still flies. But that's a that's a win. Want it win column. No broken bones. Yes, brother. Oh. Yes, brother. That's always a one in win column for no broken bones. We've just been bezing around the woods. We lost the drone, as you'll have seen, but Joey D, miraculously, like some sort of ape, climbed up there. We used the tripod to poke it, and then I got my hoodie out. You know, like them cartoons things when they get cats jumping like that. And bosh, landed on the hoodie. Salute. And now we're just about to get a sausage butty on go with the titanium bush box XL, which of which the colours have just gone quite spectacular after a couple of a couple of burns. So we'll get this going now. We'll get some sausages on go. 
There's my bundle. It's a twig stove, so you don't need you don't need big bits. I wanted to use flint and steel, but I've lost my bit of flint, and this isn't a flinty area, so I'll just use just a little bit of char cloth, which for anyone who knows is just 100% cotton popped in this tin, and then I just chuck it in my fire at home, and it creates this char cloth, which is excellent for catching a spark, as I'll show you now. We'll make a nest. I like to fluff up the bit that the that the char cloth's going in to make it a bit finer. Something like that. And then this is how quickly this will catch a spark. One load, and it's just showered in sparks, you see. Absolute shower. You shower. Get it in there. Here we go. One more. There we go, we have fire. Woo! Get all sticks in, man. <laughs> Me cutter of choice for this trip is the spider cur. I'm not sure where the bread's from. Local though, don't worry about that. Everything on this trip is local. Look at that. That's science, lads. Yeah, science. We've got a three pronged attack with sausages. Hey. Ain't life bonkers, guys? That's what we've come to the conclusion that life is bonkers, isn't it? Because we've made this bonkers sculpture out of sausages. That wouldn't be out of place in an art gallery, <laughs> wouldn't it? What would you call it? Uh, Frank's for coming. Frank's for coming, I like that, yeah. Bangers and hash. <laughs> yeah, we made a hash of it. Anyway, guys, we've just made some sort of mad sculpture that would, you know, it look, it wouldn't look out of place at an art gallery or in a serial killer's basement. But you've got to make any port in a storm. You've got to make do with what you've got. If I move this, you're gonna, is that gonna? It's sausage Jenga. Look at that. It's the sausage tree. Sosh you a tree. <laughs> Gotta keep them coming, lads. Keep them coming. Look at that, it's a mess, that like. Saw of choice for this trip is just the silky silky pocket boy, tiny little saw. Do I need to, I mean, I need to get rid of this rust on here. The perfect saw for a trip like this where we know we're not gonna be necessarily sleeping in the woods and processing big bits of wood, but perfect. Just a chuck in your bag as an all-rounder and especially suited to using the bush box. There you go, look. <laughs> Filling our days with adventure. That's what we're doing. Filling our days with adventure on the North Yorkshire coast. You powered with our phones and Route YC. Um, we're going to cook these sausages up and then we're going to have a look. We're going to spend five minutes and we're going to have a look at the route again and see where it can take us. Um, we've seen potential wild swimming spots on this particular route, on the Whitby route, that we're going to hopefully find and we'll take you with us. But first, we're going to drop off, stop off for a brew at a nice little place overlooking the sea. They look done. Ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, gather round, because done. Charcoal and smoke. Actually a good seasoning to have. Very good, in fact. Look at that. It's simple. It, you know, sure it could do with a little bit of sauce, but beggars can't be choosers, and that is a delightful, 
local produce, nice little bit of breakfast. We got up early to get out and make our own breakfast, so that's a banging little sausage banjo. Picked up some of this, which is pr really prevalent this time of year, which is wild garlic ramsons. Oh, and you can always tell just by the smell alone, so I'm just going to shred a little bit of this and pop it in the sausage butty. How is she? Really good. Cheers. Cheers mate. About time you crash your drone into the tree. <laughs> the bush box. Easy to deal with. Spread it out, all of it's slate. There's nothing that can catch, but also keep going so that you can't see any of the ash either, so. You don't want it to look like someone's had a fire here at all. But that's the beauty of the bush box. Leave no trace. They Safety always, first, look. Always wear a, a helmet when Can you... Can I shoot you in the head? Yeah, almost certainly, yeah. <laughs> no. What is it? Special ammo, apparently. Eco-friendly ammo. Shout out. It's one of my... Uh, Someone on Patreon, in fact, it's Dave, Drying at Dave. Can I have a shout out for Drying at Dave, please? Uh, of course you can. Big, big shout out. Big shout out for Drying at Dave, can you believe that? He was like, instead of using your um, steel ammo, mate, why don't you use these? And let's have a little look and show you what they are. Those of you who've been watching the channel for a, a while, been with us possibly from the beginning, will know just how lethal I am with one of these. <laughs> he said, yeah. you look like... So you will not be surprised. I mean, you look special, mate. With yeah. <laughs> to be fair. You will not be surprised. <laughs> with helmet on. <laughs> with helmet on and catapult. When I uh, just hit that bottle. He's going to hit the bottle, right? Time. Ladies and gentlemen, look. Can I just show you? Let's put these back, but here they are. They're made out of clay, and so when they get wet, they just biodegrade. Fantastic idea. This is going to be amazing, isn't so it? So that's probably about three so football pitches away, so that I would say. He's going to hit his clean, there's a clean canteen there. So we'll get three shots, mate. That's it. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. You, you won't have seen anything like this. This is going to be amazing. For a long time. This is ace. He's back. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, try again. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope that often happens, doesn't it? Well, I've always, I always say it takes me three. So you think you're definitely just going to get it in the three? I'll, well, I'll probably get it with the first shot, but yeah. Have another look. Here we go. Yeah. Listen, listen out for the ping. Okay, so there's no ping there yet. No, maybe it doesn't make a ping. Go on, lad. And he hasn't managed it. Yeah. Oh, he's redeemed Got himself. Got it. Yeah, Thank seven you. shots later. Thank you. One, every time, one and done. You can't edit it. Mic drop. See you later. Get you touched. to the pavement. One and it up. There you go. It's not all copious amounts of alcohol, loose women. Fast cars and yeah. champagne, is it? Unfortunately. Almost never. Almost never. Well, never. Actually never. Actually never. What it is though is digestive biscuits. Yeah. Coffee in a pot. Coffee in a pot. And vistas, the likes of which you'll find it hard to beat. This is a lovely way to wash down our sausage butties. Hold on, let me just have a little stir. I don't want anything less than perfection. Cheers, mate. Cheers. To the Yorkshire coast. Mmm. Yes, mate. Good. Wonderful. So, we had a little look. We finished our sausage butties. And we had a little look on the Route YC website. And we're going to take the, the route all the way around and do a full 360 of it. And this was one of the places that you could stop on. And we've stopped, and I think you'll agree. <laughs> Look at it. We've got the sea. We've just, there's no one around really. It's absolutely idyllic. Would we have come here if not for the Route YC website? Well, I don't think either of us have been here, have we? No, we wouldn't have. I don't think any of we know what the place is because we grew up around here, but we've never been here. 
And so this is absolutely <laughs> forcing us to do stuff that we'd never done. After finishing our coffee and basking in the sun, we jumped in the truck and headed off over the moors to find some wild swimming spots. Medic! We're, we're lost, we're a bit lost to be honest. This is Adder country this. Adder country. Oh, hello. We found it and we're potentially <coughs> in the market for getting in it. Let's get down to the, the side of it and have a look, see what it's saying. Come on. Look. It's cold, like, and you haven't been in for a while, have you, mate? No. You haven't been in for a bit, so he's going to be feeling this one. Yes, brother. Oh. Yes, brother. Oh, oh that's really Oh, bad, that's man. cold. I'm sinking. Put your hands on your thighs. Come on, stay. Hold. <laughs> Hold. Back down. Back in. Back in, guy. Back in. We're getting, you'll get past the pain barrier and then you'll be right. Come on. Come on, do it for Yorkshire, boy. Do it for the Yorkshire coast. That's it, guy. That's it. Sit, meditate. Breath. It's in the breath. I, I'm, I'm past it now. I'm past the pain barrier. I can stay in forever. Come on, you've got it. Oh, I can't do it. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> it's all like once you get past the pain, like that shoots through you. Yeah. I get it in my shins and my wrists and that. Yeah. And then. Like now, it's just a fi fire on like. Top. Yeah, it's electric around the chest, but now I've got it. I've got hold of it, and I'm I'm good. Yeah. He's reloading. Breathe it out, and you will. I promise you, it will go. Breathe, and just don't move yourself about. That's when you get cold. Just, just stay still, chill. And you do get like little spasms going across your chest, maybe on your bits and pieces, but you'd be surprised how long you can uh, do it. Get it out. I'm happy with that. Oh, mate, that's good. We're getting out. Endorphins. Yeah. Oh. Not that there was many cobwebs to blow out, but the ones, the residual ones there from our youth have been well and truly blown out. Medic! Right, this is be our catchphrase. I'll go Rue, and then you, you'll go Y, and I'll go C. Root! Why? C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Is that good? Rue. Why? You'll see. You'll see. Uh, if this is working and like, you're not just focusing on these dangly bits and it's like good, this is good, is it? You seat back down and all that. Wee. So we've just got the nice glow of being in a, for a wild swim. And we're just on our way for a, we're double dipping today guys, it's a double dip day. One of them days, a double dip day, we're going to earn our pints this evening. We've been putting a shift in, hiking, to try and find this wild swimming spot. And we're going to be pushing it with light and we've committed so hard to this route, coming over all like muddy, really hard hiking. So we either find it or we sleep out here and that's it. And also, <laughs> shout out to you two lads having a barbecue. Getting barbecued. Huh? Shout out to you two. Getting skewered, weren't they? Getting barbeskewered, weren't you? So, thanks for the support lads. Have a good one. How was it? Uh, On a scale of one to uh, tough gig. Technical. It was just very wet, a bit slick. I don't have the right shoes on really, but actually what that sort those? of made me uh, be a bit more thoughtful in the walking. Yeah, that's like barefooting, isn't it? We've pretty much been dining out on our sausage butties all day long. We were out early doors. We've done a lot today. Yeah. The sun's going in. Go back to the pod, get ready, and we're going to go into Whitby for a couple of beers.
And that's because Route YC told us to. <laughs> Let's do this mantle. We've stumbled across. Woohoo! We've stumbled oh across a bit gosh. of a heavy metal hardcore gig. We just rolled into a gig. We rolled into a gig. We're just blowing the dust off the day with a, our first pine. Nothing too strenuous, just a three percenter. And look. It'd be brilliant for you. Absolute scenes here. <laughs> Crazy scenes here. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably be uh, raiding the merch stand pretty soon. Oh, we're going to get some merch. Uh, we're big into it. Cut to us. Cut to us. Tucked up in pod. <laughs> in half an hour. But yeah. Salute. To a, to a glorious day. Probably won't do much filming, so salute to you. Give me cheers. Why don't you touch him? Right, to touch, him. Yeah, touch him! Touch him! There you are, that's not a touching him, is it? Come here, lad. <laughs> Good hairdo, mate. Good hairdo, guy! How are you? Look at this. This is the highlight of my week. Give him a kiss. Give a kiss it. Go on, kiss it! Kiss it! Kiss it! You can't. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. I'll give him a kiss. Come on, you kiss it then. Come here. Come on. Here's to Cheers. a wonderful couple of days on the Yorkshire coast. Mm. Maybe go through our highlights and what we found was uh, enjoyable and what we took out of using the website to come to the somewhere where essentially we know very well. We grew up around this area, so it was nice to see how this website worked for us. Highlights. Oh, highlights. I enjoyed a, I enjoyed a cheeky beer in the Green Dragon. Nice. A cheeky beer in the Green Dragon, and shout out everyone we met in the Green Dragon. Yeah, had a real nice time. So I do love seeing the town and stuff, but always the highlight for me around here is the nature, and it was cycling through Mulgrave Woods. Yeah. And the sun was coming, like the sun was nice and. We just lost the drone and got it back. We'd had our sausage butties. And uh, yeah, just cycling back from when we were full on our sausage butties. And I was following Joe down a hill. The sun was coming through the trees. And I had a moment. I had a moment where I was like, this is cool. The place we had a coffee at yesterday. Never had a coffee there before and checked out them views. No. Don't think we would have done if it wasn't for the website. No. Would we? No. Cracking little um, beer garden, that. It's well awesome. worth a visit if you're in the area, that one. We sort, of, we sort of tried to do a bit of everything, didn't we? We sort of tried to fit in yeah. a little bit of everything you might do if you came here. So we drove, you know, obviously drove quite a bit of it. We biked quite a bit. We yeah. walked quite a bit, you know. Yeah, we mixing it up. Fish and chips, standard. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you're in the area, even if you're not in the area, it's worth a visit up. Choose one of your destinations. It could be Scarborough, Filey, Whitby, anywhere on this coast and get into the website and plan your route. Use that website to help you plan your route and uh, take some of the stress out of it and it puts it all in one place. That website will be below, so please check it out. We are about to demolish a full English breakfast and then we're gonna go for a dip in the sea. <laughs> Just to end it, we started on the beach, we're ending on the beach, full circle. Views for days. That's the end of our epic journey around this coast. We've seen and done some wonderful things. We've explored the town. We've met some lovely people. <laughs> we finished where we started. We're gonna go dunk it big blue. Say bye Joseph. Bye Joseph. Bye Joseph, au revoir. Au revoir.